Hey guys, so that was the box and I hope you enjoyed that. Now we're going to go over the collection. Um, a collection I picked up recently. And I've been in a very buy mood because I'm looking at like homes right now. And when you look at the homes and when you compare the home price to Magic Cards, it's really small in comparison. And yeah, maybe I'll talk about my Narwhals. My Narwhals and why I chose to spec on them. Sure, some of you may be interested in that, but I'm just going to show you stacks of value. And I got this whole collection for relatively very cheap. I want to say under $150. Um, not stuff that sells very well, and I did have to spend a lot of time picking. So this was another very large collection. Um, Boggles. <laughs> Unmake is worth money, and I had to figure out what cards were worth money. Terminate is actually worth money. Pride Mates is worth money, and the dude just had boxes of these cards, and I had to. I went ahead and donated a lot of them to my local game store, but the rest of them that were more than like I want to say a dollar, I kept. Or cards that I believed were more than a dollar. I don't know if they actually were or not. I don't even know if there's an organization to this. So I went on Star City Games, or no, I went TCG Player, organized the right price, and figured out, like, the dude had just so many of this. Like, check this out. These are all worth, like, a dollar or two. Hyena Umbrum is worth money. Soul Sisters, right? And then these wall, the this one is worth some money. So for $150, I felt like I got a very good deal just for the piles I'm going to show you. I'm got, I got to go faster because these piles are huge. But it, luckily it's like all the same card. Like when you have Moon Mist, it's just a bunch of Moon Mist, bunch of Nettle Sentinels, Wild Nicottles, Ancient. This card is worth a lot of money for a common. More Chokes. Like we, this one is worth, like when I was looking at the prices of these, some of these cards I've never heard of, like Presence of God. I don't know who God is, but Gond. I don't know what it is, but they make elves. Gleeful Sabotage, Summer Blooms. Uh, that was from last time, actually. I have to short the cards a little better. Uh, Channels, Glistener Elves, um, Tree Speakers, uh, and more Nakados. So that was green. I organized, so it took me a while to organize and find the good cards, but I eventually did. Dark, Rituals, uh, Raven. I did not know this card had snuck up to over a dollar, but it is because it's in this pile, I assume. Street Wraiths. Uh, this card was surprising. Sadistic Hypnotist. So it was also a very educating of what commons and uncommons. So this card is worth like two bucks and there's so many of it. Some unglued, dark ritual, cabal, anime dead, just stacks of anime dead, dread to return, stinkweed, imp, and gregari bug. Yeah, it was a very interesting to see moon mist was over a dollar. Like all these cards, I would not expect, most of them I would not expect to be over a dollar, but they are. Relics, chromatic star is expensive for what it is. Uh, Johnny's pride maids, uh, Bubbles, you like. Here's this card's not like over a dollar, but it's very close. And the dude just had so many of them. The rack, yeah, that's a deck in modern eight rack. Uh, Fellow stone for your you EDH players. It just continues on and on. Like I don't know if you can see the extent of this collection, but it was very very large, and. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with all the other bulk because I gave some away to your store for new players and stuff. But I don't know what's hap what I, I can't use it. That's the problem. Counterspell, Hydroblast, Delver of Secrets. Look at all these Delvers. Like wow, there's a ton of Delver. Distortion Strike. Nakomibars. The dude just had I mean it is uh crazy. Blighted agents, high tide, obviously he had Oh, no, he doesn't have that many high tides. Uh, Hydroblast is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, here are the high tides. I was like, where did the high tides go? The dude has stacks of high tides. Stacks of... Oh, there's another Nacromibar. 
pestamites, hydroblast, flashes, uh, sleight of hand, which turns out to be worth some money. Like different editions of it. So that is blue. Very interesting collection. I've never seen anything quite like it before, but at $150. It was $150 in a $25 bar tab, which I was going to have to pay him anyway because I lost bet. But that was what it was uh, for this collection, so not bad. Kill Fiend, Distortion Strike, which goes really well with the Fiend. This is an unlimited uh, red elemental blast. You can see the contrast in them. And it's very beautiful. Unlimited cards, in my opinion, the ink is just better. Shadow uh, Storm. Um, Right of Flames, Over Master, which is worth a few dollars. Lightning Axe, which I just needed because I needed them. And Land, so even more Urza's Mines and stuff like that. So you might say, oh yeah, this is a lot of value, but how is anyone supposed to like move it? Because it's a lot of work as well. So there's probably more than $150 of this, even at buy list. So at the worst case, I can just buy list it all out and get my money back and then have the bulk go to uh, my local game store, which is fine by me. But at the same time, it is also very cool that I probably own 40, 50 copies of Moon Mist. I own like just random large amounts of randomly valuable magic commons. So I pretty much can make, build any popper deck times like 10 which is like insane, but it's true. <laughs> Bye guys.